which of the top priorities for a risk oversight committee be at the board level? Well, for me, when I joined the um, uh, board of E-Trade uh, four years ago, I had a, a handful of key initiatives. Uh, one is to make sure we have a good agenda for the committee, right? Time, board time and attention is limited, so we want to make sure that we are focusing on the most critical risk, right? Not just financial risk and regulatory risk, but also operational risk and, and strategic risk. So we want to have a, an organized, uh, well thought out calendar and agenda for risk management. Uh, two is I really wanted to enhance the independence of our risk and compliance functions. So many companies, uh, when you see org chart, you see the chief risk officer or the chief compliance officer with a dotted line reporting to the board, but it's not clear what those dotted line really mean. So I wanted to make sure that um, they have a direct communication uh, to the board and also wanted them to have an independent voice uh, in terms of being able to escalate issues, escalate concerns. So that, that was a, a, a second initiative. The third thing was to make sure we have a robust set of risk management policies you know, for credit risk, market risk, operational risk, uh, cybersecurity, and as we said earlier, uh, having a very robust risk appetite uh, statement uh, was very critical. Uh, the fourth uh, initiative is to make sure we have good reporting, uh, that, that the reporting that we get tells a story, tells the board what are the key risk exposures, what are the key trends that we need to pay attention to. And for each committee uh, meeting, what are the key decision points and discussion points. And then finally, uh, I, I was able to um, talk to management about instituting this feedback loop, uh, connecting earnings at risk analysis with earnings attribution analysis. And it's been a very um, effective process. Uh, right now it's um, used by management to help them manage the risk within the company in a way that's tied to business strategy and, and business performance. And uh, internally it's affectionately known as the LAM report. So uh, I, I think it's been a very useful process.